Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive, man, all the way back around here to Monday. Who would have thought I would have made it this far? It's uh, hot. It's the daytime. I'm alive. Uh, yeah, it is pretty hot today. But uh, I've been in the AC this whole time, so I just got into the heat, and now I'm like, well, maybe I'll sit here for the hour. I'm considering um, going, uh, staying home for the for the for the hot times uh, where I have AC. And well, this is a fair weather place only. I guess if it's very cold, I can be here too. It's got to get a big jacket. But uh, when it's hot out, there's not much I can do. So I get an AC unit, get a, a pool suit. Like on The Simpsons, they wear the pool suit. I always wanted that thing. But, uh, you know, it's not too bad at my house. Or at my job. Or at my car. So I'm going to suffer for an hour like everybody else. I'm we'll doing for longer. Maybe I can do it. I'm just gonna see how it is. Um, can you tell? Can you tell that I'm suffering? This is like um, mild jackass, you know, or mild, very mild. Uh, what's it called? Uh, well, I guess more jackass than um, evil can evil. It's like I'm mildly uncomfortable right now. I'm slightly overheated. Can you tell? Hey. I'm Rick Ward, and this is sitting in a room for an hour when it's kind of hot out. That's the jackass oh, line. Hey, I'm, I'm John Nelson. This is getting punched in the uh, face. It's Monday. I'm starting a little bit later than normal, and Jim was here on Friday. We'll see. We'll see if they show up. It's pretty much dinner time right now for them. So, calling and disrupting dinner. Also, I think maybe Heather's family is there. Now I'm thinking about it. A week goes by really quickly, you know. Last Monday to this Monday. Kind of weird. Like, what happened all week? But last week, um, Heather got a HelloFresh chicken. Oh, there it is. Beacon. Beacon. Oh, who would have thought? Beacon. 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 Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing well. How are you? Hot. It, it is hot. Yeah, but I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I was just saying um, about last week when you were eating cheesy chicken and mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Remember that? What about it? Oh, I just Delicious. hit my head. I hit my head on the window. Huh? Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was eating chicken. Uh, you were eating like Huh? Oh, go ahead. You got you got more um, dinner? Yeah. Um, oh shit. I have all these things I'm trying to hold. It's not going well. Well, like what? Um. It, we got Mexican food. From where? Oh, I see. I also have Mexican food. I don't even know what the place is called. Yeah. I don't know what a lot of places are called either. There's like a little, little Mexican restaurant it's called like Pablo Escobar. You know? Uh, Escobar? It's just called like there's like a Mexican word. You don't know what it is. And then you go there. It's just like a Mexican restaurant. 
Uh-oh, it's breaking up. I don't know if it's me, you or me. I got a burrito. In, I got a burrito from the taco truck. I got it. Oh, it's good. What'd you that get? Good. Enchiladas? I got a... Yeah. You did? Enchiladas and horchata. Yeah. I, I don't like no, I guess I guess I guessed it. I knew I knew I, I had the in, I got the enchilada vibes. I I I I picked it. I be I be giving giving out the enchilada vibes. Yeah, I I picked it up though. But, um They like do you like horchata? I do. Yeah. We but, bought horchata, but I think they ran, we think that they ran out of cups because they like gave us like a soup thing and poked a hole in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet everybody's buying a horchata right now. Um, I like horchata, but I never get it. I just drink water, but uh, I, I should get it. Or maybe, what, just get cinnamon? Yeah, it's good. Horchata is good. Rice, rice drink. Rice, yeah. Is it rice milk? Is it rice and milk or rice water? Well, it's, it's, it's rice milk to, as oh, much as like, me. it's basically rice milk, like oat milk and almond milk. They're not really milk either. So it's kind of rice milk, but they don't call it rice milk. Uh, they don't call it rice milk because that's weird. They shouldn't call all that stuff milk, but that's what they want to call people want milk or something. Yeah. I want to eat. white, thick, and milky. Yeah, I guess. I just don't like milk, so I want them to call it juice. Rice juice. Rice juice? Yeah. Huh. Or drink. Oh, oh drink. Huh. Can you put, can we get an oat drink latte? Uh, I've never had that. Uh, oat, you never had oat milk? Oat milk, oh, I guess I've had oat milk, yeah. Yeah. But not in my latte. Oh, <laughs> yeah? What do you get it in? Um, I tried making, I think I tried it for a smoothie or something. Yeah. I was getting it from uh, Freddie who works at a fancy coffee place. So when I was going over there, I was getting it sometimes, but I just went back to black coffee. Yeah, do you drink black coffee? I do. Really? Yes. Ugh. Oh. It, um, it's good for you. It's strange. Uh, I think what's strange uh, is putting uh, baby cow uh, food in your coffee. I like creamer. Baby cow food. That's for babies. What? Do you say creamer comes from babies? Baby, it's for baby cows. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Milk is for babies. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, the sun is so bright. I know. I have AC everywhere else except for the studio. That's so crappy. I was I was listening to you talk on YouTube for a second before I got on, and you were talking about maybe not. You were thinking about not coming in or for the hot days or something. Yeah. Well, last year when it was like death hot, I did the program from my home and started coming here. And uh, it's not death hot yet, but it's getting there. It's supposed to get uh, like 100 tomorrow. Maybe I won't be here. I am kind of uncomfortable, but maybe it's only going to be for an hour. So maybe I should just bear it. It's supposed to be 100 tomorrow? Or it's supposed to be 100 soon. 
Maybe not tomorrow, but within the next few days. Oh, that's not right. That's what they're saying. Um, I guess everybody's dying in Europe, if you believe in Europe, which I'm not sure if I believe in Europe. Europe, I think Europe might be fake. But, uh... Europe is not fake. Uh... And he just said he doesn't know if he believes in Europe. I don't know, you ever been to Europe? I don't have a whole lot to say about that. You ever been there? No, I've never been there, but I know people that have been to Europe. They got, um, the people who went to Europe and came back, they, you know, have you seen Total Recall? Did what? Total, you know Total Recall with Schwarzenegger? Oh, Total Recall? No, never seen it. Oh. Well, they, if you go to Europe, they, instead of getting on a plane, they, they put you in a machine and then they implant memories in your mind and then um, in, a, in a few, uh, like, in, in years, then they're going to, everybody who says they went to Europe, they're going to put out a radio wave and all those people, they're going to uh, turn into murderers. What about people that, I definitely talked to people that live in Europe, so what about them? Holograms. Holograms? Yeah. No. I mean, you don't even need to be a hologram if you're not, if they're not in person, they're like a, vi a digital hologram, like a video, fake video people. Patrick was just commenting that he's never met you, maybe you're a hologram. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, they're dying, apparently they're dying in Europe, uh, that's what I heard, that's what they're saying, so. If it's real, then they're dying. But uh, we're gonna die here now too. It's gonna get hot. You got your AC going? Yeah. Yes, sir. What do the do the cats know? It's, what are the cats doing? Um, one of them was outside. Uh, now one of them wants to go back. One of the other ones want to go outside. They're just chilling. They don't know it's hot. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think they get as hot as me. It might... surprises me because they got all that fur. Yeah. Maybe they're li being little. Does that make it so you don't get as hot when their ca cats are like so small? Maybe. Oh. Um. Yeah. I wonder if cats are 98 degrees too. I don't know what. I don't know what temperature cats are supposed to be. Yeah, do you have a thermometer? Um, I do, but you're supposed to go up cat butts, and it's not a thermometer for that. <laughs> it's, not, it's for you, huh? I have one. I have one sitting next to my, like, on my, uh, what do you call it, like, mm, like this, the little table next to the couch where I put my my drink, you know. Uh, -huh. uh, end table. Is it the end table? Yeah. Is that what you call that? Yeah, an end table. Yeah, it's like next to the couch where I put my drinks. And yeah. I have a thermometer there so that I can take my temperature if I feel like it. I keep uh, it. Huh? I'll do it next. He's I asking me about it. Can you just close that? I keep it. I keep it next to the, the TV, so in case I feel like I'm like maybe I have a fever, and then I just uh, check it. You know. I haven't had a fever yet. Uh, I haven't had a fever either. Patrick had a pretty, pretty bad fever the other week. I remember. He was hot as heck. It was not cool. Never, never, and you never got it. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. And he tested negative for the virus too, huh? Mm-hmm. It was the flu. I don't think I've ever had a temperature in my life. You haven't what? I don't think I've ever had a temperature. Maybe when I was a little kid. I'm sh yeah, I'm sure you have in the past. Hmm. Um. Um. Pat, you gonna call James? Yeah. Um, I I talked to him on like Friday. How's he doing? He, uh, well, he is, uh, essentially homeless right now, you know? And 
he's uh like kind of bouncing around <coughs> people's homes in Seattle. Like he didn't want to call it sugar daddying, but I kind of think it's kind of like that. Mm-hmm. He's just like living at people's houses, and um, apparently one of them is a schizophrenic who has multiple personalities. You know, that's what schizophrenia is, I guess. Um, I guess I, I don't need to show you the video if you're not going to be on the video. So he, he, he uh, the, it, James's friend is maybe schizophrenic, and he's living part-time with him, and that's something. That is something. He was driving around, yeah, like, uh, riding his scooter around in Seattle last time I talked to him on Friday. Let's call him. All right, here it goes. James. Oh. Maybe that's him right now, actually. Uh, let's see. Yep. Oh, he's here. He's here. James, I was right about to call you. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear I was right about to call you? Oh, you were? I was getting ready to call you, and then, um, uh, then you got on here. Yeah? Yeah, so... No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, perfect. Hey, you're both here at once. It's been months. It's been, it's been a month at least. Looks like looks like you're in a Seattle architecture spot for me to me. Look at that Seattle that architecture. What? It looks like Seattle. I can't hear you. Hold on. Uh, I think I'm going Seattle. Seattle architecture. Yeah, they're making it Where here. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to turn downtown Olympia into Seattle. They want to be all fancy. Exactly, How are you, James? I'm good. I'm working. Is it hot? It is pretty warm out. Did you? Uh, it's what? Nice, though. No. What, what personality is your friend today? <laughs> He was uh, mostly nice, a little bit extra. Yeah. A little bit extra. But not like a, a um. Extra, like he was a little uh, manic, maybe today. Yeah. yeah. Not a not a Korean woman though. What's that? He wasn't a Korean woman today. No, it's not a Korean woman. It's a Filipino woman. <laughs> and then you, if you say if you say he's Korean, you're like, hey, are you Korean and woman? And he's like, no, I'm a Filipino woman. <laughs> What? Like if you told him that? <laughs> no, he doesn't say it like that. He won't. He won't tell you that he's a woman. He just. He just starts to sound exactly like he is. Oh, but he. So he sounds yeah, Filipino, but not Korean. But he's pretty good. He's, he must be pretty good at the accents. Then, if you can tell that he's Filipino and not Korean. Well, I know that it's because. Well, in, I mean, I'm assuming partially because he's half of the football, and like um, oh, they, okay. are, they do. They have some distinct sounds. So it's yeah. in his, it's, it, he is part Filipino, it's not, I thought he was a white guy making a, being a Filipino woman. No, he's, no, he's Mexican, he's half Mexican, half Filipino. Oh. Is he ever a Mexican? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't, uh, I think because his mom, his mom is Mexican, Filipino, and then, so, and his dad was Mexican, but he was never around that much. Oh, okay. I think that's why that that's what picked up in the angry, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Obviously, it has some. I, you know, I'm thinking, like, but it's so weird because it's like, it's like an accent that's not there before, and like he does the whole like, I don't know, I can't think of it, but like the sound is just like yeah. Really but if he grew up with the accent, yeah, then he can. T's, T's turn into D's in one, and it's like it's just weird. He grew up with the accent. Yeah, uh, me and my brother, we grew up with my grandmother, who's. Uh, has a heavy Japanese accent, and I think it may, uh-huh. it might, it may, might have made me talk weird. It makes sense. Yeah, like I don't, I definitely don't have I an mean, accent. Yeah. I don't have an accent, but I might be weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But you might be what? It might, it might have made my speech patterns just weird. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I see what you're saying, yeah. It's possible. I mean, even people who move to like the south, they, you know, from here, they get, they get the next thing they move, just from living there as adults. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy, it's hot. 
I don't have AC. Do you have AC at your uh, wherever you're living, James? What? Where are you are you living somewhere? Do you have the AC where you are? Where I'm living, like in whatever car, or hotel, or uh, outside bridge or whatever. I'm just trying to just sleep under. I'm just kidding. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, there's no AC outside, and there's no AC. <laughs> there's no AC uh, in most of the cars I end up in. Or and uh, are you sleeping in cars? At my friend's house. Uh, you, can you, can't you sleep at like the the bathhouse or something? Oh, there's AC there, sort of, but they keep it warm on purpose because everybody's naked. So. <laughs> yeah, but how hot? I mean, you don't want to get you don't want to get like up on other people when it's too hot. At least I don't. I think it's too hot. What? Like, for uh, intimacy. Oh yeah, but they keep it hot in there on purpose. Yeah. But I don't think they, I don't think there's AC there. I mean, there's AC in there. Maybe there is because it's like three floors. So maybe on the other floors they do because they have to, but maybe not. I don't, I don't really think they do. I don't think they have anything at all. Ah. Yeah, but I haven't really been there either that much lately, so I don't know. I haven't been there on any of these hot days this year, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. The other one might. I think the other one, the, the more expensive one might. But the one I usually stay at is um, not. Doesn't yeah. <laughs> you ever take a bath there? What? They ever took a, no, bath? They a bath? Uh, they don't have a bath? No, there's no bath and there's no, um, they, 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 they don't have baths. They have a steam, the one they, one has a steam room and they have like showers. It's called a, it's called a bathhouse. And, it's called a bathhouse where there's a bath. It's like the bathroom. There's showers. Like the there's bathroom. Showers. Right. And there are, there are bathrooms, restrooms. Oh yeah. With sinks and toilets. I call it and, the restroom. Uh, and a douching thing, huh? I say, where's the restroom? There's also a little, um, there's a thing. I don't, the, I don't the call room. it the bathroom. Like, Somebody's calling. The bathroom. I call it the bathroom. Oh! Let's see, uh, let's see, how do I answer? Like this. Oh, yellow fellow. You should get on the meat. Hello, yellow fellow! <laughs> Hello, you should get on the meat with, uh, James and Heather. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is easier for me right now. This is okay. Alright. James and Heather are here. Hello. Am I gonna am I gonna kill the uh kill the mood of the Monday James and Heather time if I'm here? Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be hard to talk to each other over the platforms because you're on the phone and they're on the meet, that's why. But uh uh, okay, then I'll just I'll send my love and I'll get the fuck out. Oh yeah, we I, I don't mind the craziness. Oh okay, then I'll stick around. Like like, if everything worked, then what would we do? You know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, then I'll uh, I'll just I'll stick around. Are you drinking? <laughs> are you drink? Are you drinking nighttime coffee today? Me? Yeah. Oh no no no. Today I got corn nuts. You know corn nuts? Corn nuts. Yeah. What flavor? Um. There's a new nacho flavor. A new nacho flavor. But I also got them. Um. I also got plain. Plain. What's the difference between the new nacho flavor and the old nacho flavor? I don't know. It says new, so I don't know. Maybe they updated it. You know? I like corn nuts. Yeah, me too. They're very loud to chew. Do they got Do they got Winko out there in Philly? No. Oh. Uh, no. Winko says no. What about in Seattle, James? You got Winkos up there? I saw like one of those Amazon food places up in Seattle. The Whole Foods. Are you talking about Whole Foods? No, it wasn't Whole Foods. It was just like an Amazon grocery store. Is it Whole Foods, Amazon? Oh, yeah, the Amazon Fresh stores. Amazon Fresh, yeah. You walk in yeah. and you walk out and you don't have to... You walk in and you walk out and you don't have to... Oh, it like, it like, uh, it knows what you buy, right? Yes. So, like, you just go in there and then you take stuff and then it just charges your card in your pocket or something. Wait, hold on, yo. So then it's just like you... Oh, my God. Can you? Yes. Do you know, okay, towards the I end of the delivery food in Philadelphia, oh, yeah. um, 
like if say it was like an order for like an Olive Garden. Yeah. yeah. I would go and I would go to this like Thank facility, you. and you pick up. It's like cold and like there's just like not. It looks like you're going into a locker room and you get food literally from like a locker that you pick it out from, and it's just like this place that has like there's supposed to be a big kitchen in the back, but they're they have all the food for all these places. So there might be like an Olive Garden, and there might be like an Applebee's, and there might be like a Chick Fil A. Yeah. It's just all the, it's all these like brands all just being made in a big like weird empty place and like you think when you're ordering the food from the app that you know, oh it's my local like olive garden that's making this for me but it's just like this big like warehouse yeah that's, that's really the thing place. i forgot what they call that but they're doing that everywhere now yeah like that was towards the end of me delivering food that it started and it just freaked me out. I wasn't sure if we knew about it or not. No, that's I heard of that. There's like people that like even like home kitchens that are doing like five restaurants in one place. Yeah, it's very strange. That's weird. Yeah, they're getting into the delivery services. They're just like pretending to be like four restaurants, but it's just like one person. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it's like just putting the pouch of whatever that meal is in like a in a like Hot, hot water. I I worked at a um, restaurant up until about a year ago, and did. I did, and it was awful. That I, I I was like a big reason why I wanted to leave because of that the door the DoorDash orders were just horrible. Oh yeah. Do you tip? Do you tip them? Yeah, man. Like the restaurants as the DoorDash person. Um, no, the restaurants don't tip them. No, do you, you tip the restaurant. Uh, nobody what? tips the restaurant, which is why it sucks. Yeah, so nobody tips the restaurant, so then they, they, were, yeah. getting, they were getting all the tips, the drivers were getting all the tips, from, and, and then we weren't getting the tips. Oh, I see. Okay. And also, they were rude because they weren't the customer, everybody was really rude. Do you tip yeah, the restaurant? Uh, Middle is a weird like time period where things are changing and I don't like old it. ways going out the door and yeah. I'm I don't, I'm old old though. I don't even carry a phone around with me. Yeah, it only gives you the it. option to tip the restaurant if you're picking up the order yourself. Yeah, it's not but but then you're supposed to just do it like really the driver should just be doing it on the side. Or something. Or not, or whatever, yeah. but it's it's weird. It's a weird future. I don't like. I go to McDonald's and I'm like, hey, you have the app, you know? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh my gosh. Can you just give me the food? Do I need a computer to eat McDonald's? Hey, I saw uh, I saw an ad, a billboard ad today. Uh, candy for McDonald's. It's like two for three fifty for like. Two chicken nug, uh, chicken sandwiches or something. You know about this deal? Yeah, that's not that good of a deal. No, it's not. Oh, okay. How much was it before? <laughs> I don't know. Three you could mix and match. You could get like chicken nuggets or yeah, like cheeseburger. Yeah, two, two for two, two for three fifty is about about regular, but I mean that's why it's on the uh, the billboard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I don't know. Um. Oh, do, you, do you like chocolate malts? What? Do you like chocolate malts? Chocolate malts? Or just like malt, like a malt milkshake in we general, were, you know? I think, I think me and James and Heather, we were trying to figure out what malt was like a month ago, remember that? We oh, I, I kind of does bring it now, but I went and I got my chocolate malt. What's the difference between a malt and a milkshake? There's this distinct taste that is not there with just like a regular chocolate Oh, that's weird. What is it? You know, like, you know the taste, yeah, okay, you know what, like Whopper candy? Yeah. It's cookie, that this is, is what we were talking about the other day. Is it Whoppers are not cookies, it tastes like cookies. No, not quite. But it's crunchy. Yeah, but whenever you had a cookie that's that, like, crisp. That's weird, I think it's It's like a Twix, though. Kinda, I guess. But not quite. There's like a, there's a malt taste that's in the Whopper. Twix is cookie. Yeah. Hmm. But 
the Twix doesn't have that taste that same What? Where are you? Why do I sound echoey? Yeah. I'm in my new empty apartment. Oh, you moved, huh? No, I'm just cleaning. What are you cleaning? Sounds like you're in a bathroom. Yeah, what are you cleaning? Um, it's an, a completely empty bedroom. So you're, just, you're, uh, you're cleaning. I'm, I'm wiping. I'm wiping the hardwood, uh, hardwood floors down there. <laughs> Why? Didn't they do that before? Did we do this? Before? No, didn't the, the, the people who. No, they they came from there. No, it was fucking dirty there. Piece of shit. Just, uh, How'd you get there? Did your brother drop you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's talk to James and Heather though. How was your week, Heather? Um, it was all right. I was thinking of something I wanted to tell you on the way home, and I already forgot, so <laughs> I think you said that last week. Yeah, it keeps happening. It happens. Um, it happens. It was, like, really hard to get up today, and I don't know why. Is it the heat? Maybe. I mean, it wasn't that hot this morning, and it wasn't, like, too hot yesterday where it was hard to fall asleep. Oh, uh, is it okay? So the Mondays? I guess so. <laughs> the Mondays. Yeah. Um, I'm working from home, and it's a weird thing because I'm I'm like going to the office and working from home, so I'm like, oh. yeah, it's a weird situation. I gotta go to work. I gotta wake up, and then like if I'm not if I'm working from home, my my I'm like you know my my work is at my home. Uh-huh. But then, are you gonna work from home from now on, or is it just temporary? I I have, I have two days in the office and three days at home right now, um, but they don't, they don't, nobody knows, nobody knows what the future holds right now. There he is. Hey, James. Nobody, nobody knows about the future of working from home because everything is going back and forth. Maybe there's monkeypox. Next is monkeypox. We're gonna quarantine again. Really? Maybe. I don't know. What? Uh, you think yeah. we're gonna be in quarantine because the monkeypox? I don't know. Me and my brother were saying that Nate is too silly. Yeah. You know what to about now. Work from home. Work from home again. What? Um. Did anybody die from the heat yet? It's not that hot, I guess. Heather, it's not death hot yet though, huh? It's not death hot? Death hot? Nobody's dying from the heat yet. Not yet. How'd they die this week? I don't think I've had any. I don't remember if I've had anybody die from the heat. I don't think so. How about in general? Who died? Huh? They go elsewhere when they die from the heat. Oh, how'd they, how'd they die at your place? Um, you know, just stuff. <laughs> Heart attacks? A lot of people killing themselves. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. And you gotta, it you, is. you gotta, um, reconstruct people's, uh, what, r- wrists? Wrist, you know, yeah. people be reconstructing heads. Yeah. People are dying yeah, a lot from suicide and fentanyl. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I mean, maybe they're kind of the same. No. No. Yeah. That's not good. Hey, Heather, do you, do, you, do you turn people into ashes? Is that one of your jobs? I know what it is. Is I think it's hard to communicate. He, you know, if I was asking about cremations. Oh, well, no. Does she do that? Yeah. She does? Yeah. Oh, my God. That, that, do, you, do you, like, see it happen? Or do you just put them in, like, a chamber and then... I'm pretty sure it's inside, of, it's inside of a furnace. Mm. <laughs> Where's the furnace? Is it in the basement? You know, um... I've seen it. It's over it's in cool. Bethlehem, but... Oh, well, uh, yeah. Oh, that does, that well, yeah, he has seen one. You saw the that furnace? That's the one I would offer it, though. Oh. Hey, you. you said what? 
Are you, are, is she just kind of like numb to I it said, now? Is it just like what it is, or is it still weird to do it? Do you do you actually like put the bodies in the furnace? Yeah, I used to. That's the one James saw, the one that place. I used to. Wow. Yeah, she'd be having to stir them up and they're dusty all over. I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I can't be in here <laughs> breathing this shit. You got the dust on you? I have dust. Uh, you get all, you get up all up on you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, dude, it's weird. So that's like the same dust that you're gonna put in the in the the urns anyway, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> Sometimes you're putting it in the urn and it's like dusting up in your face. I should sure really be wearing a mask. Yeah, you ever oh my God. you ever breathe it and cough it up a little bit? I've definitely breathed it in. <laughs> That's like how you get haunted oh or something, God. right? That just happens to my grave. You're a grave uh, right now, okay? It's like I have many guardian angels. <laughs> oh God. Your your grandfather's okay. cremated, y'all, Bob. <laughs> yeah, they just they just did that too. Does he have a grave? Uh, yeah. Is it a a, a family plot? Uh, I don't think so. We should go check it out though. Someday. I don't know. I yeah. I kind of wanted to get a grave. But Freddie, we went, we went and buried Dan Dobler, Freddie's uncle. Yeah. A few weeks ago, and Freddie's grandfather has the same name as him. He was named after his grandfather, so there's a grave that says Freddie's name on it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Yeah, but it's his grandfather's grave, but he was named after his grandfather. Hmm. Huh. What do you want to happen to your body? Uh, I, oh, I've i been saying that I just want to leave it. Just let, <laughs> yeah, let it rot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Just every day the show can just be your rotting corpse. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, you, so you you think I'm gonna die sitting here then, huh? I mean, that'd be, well, if not, we can just they can just put you back in the studio and then it'll just be the live stream. It can just be you decomposing. Heather, what are you? I, I'm sure I've asked you a lot of times. But what do you want to do when you die? What do you want? To, what are they gonna do? Create I don't really know. You don't even know? I'll probably end up being cremated. Is it, I mean, there's like the burying under a tree thing, like regular embalming or cremated. Is there a, a fourth option? Um, you can be, you can do offline hydrolysis, which is a, a different form. It's like a flameless cremation. And then there's the composting, the composting. Yeah. Wait, is that like, is that like, um, like, like, uh, chemical, like getting rid of a body, alkaline, whatever, is it like, chem like, melting a body, like breaking bad? It's a chemical toilet, right? Yeah, thing. it's like using a, they use a, a liquid yeah. that breaks down the body. It's like breaking bad. Mm. Yeah, wait, what's it called with, like, and then, the yeah, then they process like the bones. What you like, so what's it called when you like fix up the corpse to make it look all nice? Embalming. Yeah. Can you like request for them to? Yeah, I mean you can be embalmed and then like they're like they embalmed and then they give you like a, a third eyeball and stuff. <laughs> can you hear him? Yeah. Uh -huh. The other wants to know if they if, if they will do creative embalmings, like give you an extra like eyeball or like weird makeup or something. What if they want that? Yeah. I mean, if the family says that's what they want. But has that ever happened? Not weird makeup, no. Or like, what about like, uh, the, uh, I don't know, uh, like, 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 uh, like, say, I want you to take my nose and put it on my forehead and put my eyeballs. Oh my yeah, what about this like a nose job though? No. <laughs> no, you don't do that, but there is this stuff that's like filler that's so like you can inject that into people's skin to like, you know, if they, uh, if they're emaciated and you need to fill out something like oh. their temples. Yeah, if they that. die, if they die from like a disease that made them skinny. Yeah, we can 
make their face look like it was filled out. What, what is that I stuff? told the embalmer he could do his own, like, side business and do, like, injections for people. Oh, my God. I think I saw that on, uh, some movie. Uh, maybe they were on, um, they were doing that on, uh, uh, uh the, the Pose. You see that Pose show? Uh-uh. You didn't see Pose? Pose? Nope. Pose. I think it was on Netflix. It was about um, like uh, the 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 ball scene in New York in the late eighties. Oh. You should watch that oh, show. Pose. Pose. Yeah, I seen like an episode. It was good. I think it's like two seasons. But um, it was good. they were getting filler from I think from a funeral person. Yeah. <laughs> or something. At least something nasty. Yeah, people will be putting nasty stuff in people, like industrial strength silicone. <laughs> yeah, that's odd. Have you ever seen those people who uh, inject their balls with, like, saline? Do you know what I'm talking about? Absolutely not. In their balls? <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, but it's really, it actually goes away. But then, yeah, it's a thing. They do what? What? Why? Think about it. I think mostly balls. They just make it a little big and small. I don't know, it's weird. They want big balls? Yeah, to make them have big balls, yeah, I guess. But they look unnaturally. It's weird. What? I've never, never seen that in person, but I know someone who does it, so hopefully. Okay. But there, people are, are into that? Yeah, it's like this king thing, whatever. Like, swollen balls? Go Google it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Google it later. Don't mess with that. Oh, giant. What? Have you ever seen that? Huh? What is it? I've never seen it in person. Seems like seen you want <laughs> you want smaller balls and then you uh, make uh, everything else bigger look bigger by in comparison, you know? If you got giant balls, you know, the rest of it's gonna look kinda small. Seems very uncomfortable, but so does like um, any kind of enlargening of body parts <laughs> artificially. <laughs> Seems like it would be uh, a, a lot to carry around. What's that other thing called where like they put things in their pee hole? Sounding. Sounding. Oh. Yeah, I know somebody who does that and I watch, I can't even watch. Yeah, but that's not, yeah. at least that's not permanent though. What? That, I don't think it's permanent unless you're getting stretched out. Mm, that'd be weird. You said what? It's not permanent, like if you get giant balls, that's like gonna stay with you. If you get the sounding, it goes away. So. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a metal rod. Oy. I don't really want to. Oy. Um. Okay, cool. I can't even look at the sound rods. I wonder. It's like, how do you even, like, how how do you even get on that road <laughs> to start doing that? But uh. One, one small step at a time, you know? <laughs> Just like kind of like you gotta, you gotta Neil Armstrong your way into that one, you know? You know what I'm saying? Huh? What? You know? Yeah. You gotta Neil Armstrong your way into that, you get it? You get the, you know what I'm saying? Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. Yeah, one small step. What? One small step at a time. You know Neil Armstrong was on the moon? Uh-huh. And he said, one small step for mankind. Uh-huh. But that's how you get into that kind of stuff. One, you know, you just take small steps, and then one day you're injecting silicone into your balls. True. True. At first, I thought you were talking about Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Stretch Armstrong. I used to have one of them. Yeah, what's... And then, and then uh, I chewed on it till it broke. I don't know. Yeah, what's in there? I was... I, gooey shit. I don't know what... Gooey shit. What, how does that... How does that thing work? It's like it, the rubber, you stretch it out, and then it comes back together? Like... Yeah, it's just like rubbery arms with gooey shit inside. How does it... I bet it... Uh-oh. Oh, Yelp, I was gone. Seems like that would have been poison. I bet that's why they stopped making I'm them. I'm sure it was. I mean, I'm sure it was not good for you. That's probably why they stopped making it. <laughs> it was the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> I never had one of those, but I remember them on TV. I don't know if that guy ever got a TV show. 
Was that a, was it a TV show? Oh, uh, probably. I don't know what it was. No probably. way. But I just was. I thought he was just a toy. Oh, they made a lot of toys in the TV show. It's weird that there's things that just. So. Uh, it seems. Seems yeah, like they could have got me to buy anything or begged my parents to buy anything. I saw oh yeah, the people who are, people who um are who make marketing for children's toys are evil. They're straight evil. Like there's, there's no way around that. Straight evil. <laughs> it causes those kids so much anxiety and stress. And then it causes the parents so much anxiety and stress. It's to the point where they buy shit. It's like wow, like how what a <laughs> fucked up model, like fucking how can how can you fucking live with yourself doing that? I just don't get it. Yeah, how are uh, maybe they're advertising on YouTube now? I'm, how are the kids how do the kids know what to buy these days? Without TV? YouTube. Huh? YouTube. How do you know what to buy without TV? Unboxing videos. <laughs> yeah, it's YouTube. Haven't you seen all those like children that have toy review channels? No. There are very popular like six year olds. Yeah, and their, their parents are taping them or something? I guess, yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm, I feel like people my age have six-year-olds. They're taping them. Telling them to uh, review the toy. Um, I don't know what the kids are, are buying these days. They even have, I mean, they don't even have Toys R Us anymore. Where do you even buy toys? No, they do. They came back. They, they, they did? I think they did. I... I... I was going to come back as Jeffrey's toy. I feel like it was trying to come back. Have you ever seen that? It's really weird. Is that, uh, like, abandoned Toys R Us by the Tacoma Mall? You know what I'm talking about? I know. The one by the Tacoma Mall, yeah. It was like it was like a lot of homeless people living in the parking lot. Yeah, it's like a trailer. It's like a trailer park. Oh, in the, it's, it's like a trailer park in in front of like the the Toys R Us with like the bleached out letters because they took down the letters, but the letters got bleached out on there. And then there's a bunch of homeless people living in trailers in front of it. You only you only go through there if you're walking because it's like between. Um, uh, 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 Krispy Kreme and the Halloween store. That's why I walked through there. But they're coming back, uh, huh? Toys R Us, coming back. Uh, Toys R Us is going to be in every Macy's this holiday season. In Macy's? Oh, so it's going to be just a section now. Let's see. Part of Macy's, I guess huh? they already tried to come back and the two stores weren't successful. Yeah. Well, I mean, now at virus times, nobody's going to go. I mean, it's a weird time. But uh, I hate Macy's anyway. It's crazy. They got, they got $30 mugs at Macy's, you know? $30 mugs. I went to uh, 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 J.C. Penney's or Macy's or something in the mall, like in like 2018, to go buy my grandmother some like $100 perfume that she wanted. We, we went there and then I was looking at the stuff and they have like a $30 mug. It's just a mug and it's just like this is $30 for no reason, just because you can buy it there. You buy it at the Dollar Twenty Five store. Buy what at the Dollar Twenty Five store? $30 mug from Macy's. Oh. That's a bargain. Yeah. Wow, it's hot. It's hot. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll just suffer through it every time, though, because now we got 10 minutes left. I might just sit here for the hour and suffer, and then it'll remind myself that I have, when I have AC, that it's nice. It's going to feel really good when you get home. That's going to be the nice thing. Yeah. But it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be like 100 degrees soon and then I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I'm going to record messages of the future. Here it goes, okay? Hey, future. It's us in the past. Hey, future. 
I hope you're staying cool. What do you say, future James? Stay cool. Oh, James came over here probably. Okay, bye, future. Did you eat your enchiladas yet? What? Heather, you eat your enchiladas? Did you eat your enchiladas? Can you hear me? I can't really hear what you're saying. <laughs> did, did, did you eat enchiladas? Oh yeah, I ate those enchiladas. Yeah, how was it? They were delicious. The chicken? They I were chicken, how did you know? I am just guessing. I'm just guessing all, all our cylinders today, I guess. You're picking up that chicken enchilada vibe. Yeah. I got a chicken burrito. How is your burrito? It's good too. I got it with the green sauce because it's citrusy for the heat. Oh, yummy. Yeah. My grandmother always told me to drink hot drinks when it's hot out. What are you delivering, James? I'm delivering, uh, what did I just pick up? Where is it? Uh, so, uh, I did a pizza first. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't remember what I just picked up. Pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, shit. It's, um, fucking... Pagliacci's? Oh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack. There's Shake Shack in Seattle? Yeah. What? There is indeed. I thought there's that's an LA thing. I don't know. There's at least one. I don't know. <clears throat> what? What? You're going to have to come up and order it. And <laughs> no. I just go to... I, I like a... Frisco Freeze. Frisco Freeze is good. Yeah, I like them. Uh, they're okay. Yeah, Shake Shack's yeah, I, better? I like Fugles better. I like Fugles better. I still haven't uh, been there. Good. I should go there. Oh, is it by, is it anywhere close to Cheney Stadium? That's where, um, no. That's kind of by, um, Frisco Freeze. The, kinda... the only Fugles I know is in, um, Spanaway. There's uh, one in uh, Auburn, uh, too, I think. Auburn, not Spanaway. What, Fugles? I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way, y'all. Oh, uh, they're gonna. The Thurston County Fair is this week, though. I'm gonna eat a lot of burgers there. Ooh. It's starting on Wednesday. I didn't. I didn't submit anything. I wonder. Maybe we should call Freddie. Submit anything for what? Ask him about the 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 the, the Thurston County Fair. Uh huh. I think it's. What would you submit though? Um. Uh, plants and uh, uh, cookies. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, anything else? <laughs> they got cats. I anything good there. They got cats there. Cats? Yeah, hmm. but most of the cats are little kids. I'll call right back. Hi. Hey, Freddy. Oh, I don't know what happened. The call didn't go through. That was weird. I don't know. They, they have a cat. They have, like, cats. You can go there and get your cat, like, um, uh, judged or whatever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> cat show? Yeah, they have a cat Gidget, show. Gidget, do you no, want to be judged? But most of the cat shows... No, Gidget judges the judging. The cat shows are, the, um, <laughs> are mostly little kids. So if you brought your cat, it would be, like, a bunch, a bunch of, like, ten-year-olds or less. And you. Eating. I'm gonna kick those kids' ass. Yeah. Uh, they have they have a, a chicken costume contest. And chicken costume. I, hey, chicken costume. Chicken costumes. Like, like they dress. Yeah, make them they dress costumes? up their chickens in costumes before they you know before they oh. eat them. Wow, the chicken thing there is weird. But, I thought you were saying people dressed up in chicken costumes. And that's what it kind of sounds like. In the book, it says chicken costume contest, and you're like, wow, oh, are they going to put the chickens in costumes or dress up like chickens? But it was the chicken Weird. costume. 
and I saw a little girl duct tape a Robin Hood hat on a chicken one time. Duct tape? Yeah, because the hat kept falling off and then she panicked. Started duct taping the shit out of a chicken. Not okay. Oh my god. Yeah. That poor, poor chicken. <laughs> yeah, probably not good. That poor chicken. And then they're gonna eat it, maybe. I don't know if they're gonna eat it later, but. Ooh, I hope so. Uh, I was gonna die after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does he eat me? They're, they're like duck, getting duct taped the hat to them? I mean, yeah, that's just not okay, dude. Yeah. For real. I'm surprised nobody did. Uh, we have about five minutes left. Five minutes, huh? Where are you, where are you gonna stay today, James? Where are you gonna sleep? Um, I've been staying at my friend Ken's house, mostly. Well, I mean, I say it's been staying there, but really, I just dump some shit there at night. That's the, other places that's all the, night. um, Filipino woman? No, 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 no. No, well, that's where I've been going, but I, I shouldn't keep going back there because he's, like, psycho. So, like, you know, like, I mean, what? Uh, where I is this, know, is Tim, this... is Tim new? What? Newer? Ken. He's a no, new... Ken is not, like, he's not, he's not crazy. But he's a new friend? No, I've known him for, like, over a year now, but mm. he's not crazy. But he's got a place in Seattle? He has, like, a regular job. He works for, like, GoDaddy or something, and oh. he's got a regular job, and he work, goes to work and shit, and... Uh... He's, he's a good and negative person. Oh, Freddy. Go Daddy. It's Freddy. Hello. GoDaddy.com. Freddy. Hello. Hey, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Yes. Hi. How hello? are you? Can you? Oh, yeah. I can hear you. Definitely. Um, That's good. I'm at Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah? What are you going to get? Uh, Two twist cones. One for me, one for Madeline. Which we just one? went swimming at the lake. Which lake and which Dairy Queen? Uh, Ward Lake and the Dairy Queen, uh, right before you get into Lacey. Well, there's the one on Yum Highway and... It's like the Albertsons, right by, right uh, by yeah, Albertsons yeah. Uh, on, like, uh, Lily. How much is a twist cone? Oh, what? Is it more than I 99 cents? I don't think there anymore. Is it more than 99 cents? Oh, yeah. They're like about three dollars. Wow. Um, did you? Dairy say... Queen has the best chicken tenders. Oh yeah. Do they? More than ice cream, huh? I love Dairy Queen's chicken tenders. I know what makes them good. They, they, did 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 you submit to the Thurston County Fair? Is it too late? Probably is, right? Um, I did not submit anything to the county fair. No. And it already it passed, right? Maybe I don't know. It might have passed. It's like. We could look it up. All right, well, oh. if you don't already know. Oh, oh, I think, oh yeah, that's best. Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> I, I think, got my cone. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't need ice cream. I got AC. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, I was trying to set up AC, and our windows don't accept the AC, and then we went to go buy the other kind of AC, and then uh, they all sold out. Yep. Well, Again. you could come over, come over to my house if you want. Okay. I'll, I can bring the dog? Yeah. All right. You might want to do that because cool. it's going to be like 100 degrees. Okay. Um, there's no AC in the studio, though. I'm, I'm, so con I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but we only have about two minutes left, and James and Heather are here. Oh, okay. Nice talking to you, James and Heather. Uh, I'm gonna eat my cone. Okay, bye. That's good. You eat that bye. cone. Oh. Wow. Um. How long? I mean, people don't stay in a sauna for an hour, right? You only stay in a sauna for like five minutes. Right? What? How long do you stay in a sauna for? Like five minutes? No, uh, yeah, not too long. Less than five minutes? I don't like uh, I, I can't deal with that shit. I don't like saunas. I don't either. I like dry saunas. Oh, not I, steam rooms. Not steam rooms. I don't, I don't like either, but the show's over. We made it. Yay. We did it. Thank you. Thanks, James. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, Freddie and Yellowfellow. Okay, hey, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. TV channel 22, 11, 30, 2 a.m. Check it out, yeah. Why used to be home on YouTube? 360, 360, 360.
Yeah, dog. 